good and evil, yin and yang, the devil on the right shoulder, angel on the left. The classic story of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde asks if these two ideas could be separated into two different personalities. In the 1932 film adaptation, Frederick March plays an award-winning Jekyll and Hyde. Jekyll is a surgeon who cares greatly for the well-being of others. A walking home, he saves a woman on the streets from abuse. He's broken me jaw and me knee too. I'll get him for this. Look where he kicked me. In her apartment, she makes advances and steals a kiss from Jekyll. Jekyll admits that he likes this, and his friend reminds him that he is engaged. We may control our actions, but not our impulses. Perhaps you've forgotten you're engaged to Muriel. Forgotten it? Can a man dying of thirst forget water? Do you know what would happen to that thirst if it were denied water? If I understand you correctly, you sound almost indecent. This is when Jekyll reveals his idea for separating the evil within him from himself. Jekyll is restless, waiting for permission from his fiancé's father to marry, so he takes a potion that turns him into a monster that only has his evil traits. The rest of the film plays out the evils of Hyde's sexual aggression. This Hyde character takes what he wants, and that includes the woman that Jekyll had helped earlier in the film. Come back soon, won't you? Come back. Come back. Come back. This was filmed just before the Hayes Code was enforced, so the film managed to get away with some pretty suggestive material. I see. Some shots are so uncomfortable you think you are watching a horror flick from the 70s instead of one from the classic silver screen. Sing! Champagne Ivy is my name. Champagne Ivy is my name. Good for any game at night, my boy. Good for... <laughs> Another way that this film feels ahead of its time is from the remarkable special effects of the transformation scene. Unlike many monster transformation that keeps the actors frozen in position while the film crossfades into makeup changes, this film uses a clever technique that utilized the limitations of black and white. Because the film was colorless, they were able to use a red transparent gel in front of the camera that matched red makeup on Frederick March's face. As the gel was removed, it would reveal the makeup and allow the actor to move about and actually act. Although there are many out there, you can't really find a Jekyll and Hyde movie that can top the feelings in this one. And if you think there is one, please let me know. As always, cheers. Happy Halloween.